Write an equation for an ellipse with a major axis from 5, negative 2 to negative 1, negative 2, and a minor axis from 2, 0 to 2, negative 4. Let's plot these points. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 2, and we have negative 1, negative 2. So there is the major axis, and the minor axis from 2, 0 to 2, negative 4. So there's negative 4. This is the minor axis. And then we could graph the ellipse. Well, that makes the center 2, negative 2. So 2, negative 2 is the center of the ellipse. And we can start writing the equation. We have x minus 2 squared over something plus y plus 2 squared over something is equal to 1. What we need is the a and the b. Now, this right here is the b but it is, uh, it's two units, and it's going up and down, so we put four under the y, and we're putting it under the y because it's going along with the y-axis. It's going up and down. Now, the a is actually one, two, three units. The a is three units, so under the x we put nine, and we have the entire equation. Write an equation for an ellipse with co-vertices negative eight, six, and four, six, and a major axis length of 18. All right, so let's plot negative 8, 6. So negative 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 8, 6, and then we have 4, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. So from negative 8, 6 to 4, 6, that's a total of 12 units. And then it says a major axis of length 18. Well, we can also locate uh, the center the center, if this distance right here, if all that is 12, then I just have to go 6 uh, from either side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That puts us right here at negative 2. So the center now is negative 2, comma, and then uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 2, 6. This right here is a length of 6, and if that is the minor axis, and that's actually the B, but that doesn't even matter because we're going along the X. So this is X plus 2 squared over something plus Y minus 6 squared over something is equal to 1. Now if we're going uh, 6 this way and 6 this way, that's actually the B because it's the minor axis. But like I said, it just goes under the X. So that becomes 36. And then they said that the major axis has a total length of 18. So half of that is 9, and 9 squared is 81. So we need x plus 2 over 36, which is actually letter B. And then we have the y minus 6 squared over 81. The eccentricity of the orbit of Uranus is 0.47. Its orbit around the sun has a major axis length of 38.36 AU, astronomical units. What is the length of the minor axis of the orbit? So eccentricity equals C over A. And it says that the eccentricity is 0.47. So we can write 0.47 is equal to. Its orbit around the sun has a major axis length of 38. So 2 times A is 38.36. So let's, let's draw, let's represent the major axis. Now if they say that the total length of the major axis is 38.36. Well, half of that is A, and the other half is A. So 2A is equal to the entire thing. That means A is equal to 1, let's see, 19.18. Now point, actually this should be 0.47 instead of 0.44. So 0.47 is equal to C over 19.18. And when we multiply both sides by 19.18, we get 9.0146. But C is not related to the minor axis. They want to know the length of the minor axis. C is from the center to the focus. But we have this relationship. We have C squared equals A squared minus B squared for an ellipse. We have the C. 9.0146 squared is equal to, we have the A, that's 19.18 
squared and then minus b squared. We want b. b is the distance from the center to the covertices, which is going to give us the length of that minor axis. 9.0146 squared minus 19.18 squared is negative 286.609 and some change. That's equal to negative b squared. Well, we can multiply both sides by negative 1. And really, we just need to take the square root of the answer. And we get b is equal to 16.930. b is from the center to the covertice. So really, what we need to do is multiply this times 2. So we take that answer times 2. We get the answer, which is 33.859 uh, astronomical units. Standard form of equations for circles. The standard form of an equation for a circle with center hk and radius r is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And we want to graph this circle. Well, we have a center on this of 3, negative 2. So 1, 2, 3, negative 2. And right here, this 25 represents the radius squared. So r squared is equal to 25. So the radius is equal to 5. Now when I graph these, I just go 5 to the right, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 to the left, 1, 2, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down. And then try to draw the best circle we can, which is sometimes not that easy. On the other one, to the right here, we have a center of 1, 0. So we have 1, 0. And we have a radius squared that's 48. So the radius is equal to the square root of 48, which is equal to 6.9. So just about 7. So we go 7 to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, almost 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, almost 7. 3, 4, 5, 6, almost 7. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, almost 7. So and then we try to draw the best circle we can. Write that equation in standard form and then identify the related conic. Let's get, uh, well, it looks like we have an x squared and a y squared. But we don't have an x. So we just have 9x squared plus 4 times y squared plus 2y plus something equals 32 plus something. So we get the constant on the other side. Now, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1. So we add 1 inside the parentheses. But we've really added 4 to this side of the equation. We have 9x squared plus 4 times y, uh, y plus 1 squared. And we've got to add 4 to this side. And that's equal to 36. Well, this is not going to be a circle. This is going to be an ellipse. That means we have to divide by 36. 36. Divide by 36. We get x squared over 4 plus y plus 1 squared over 9 is equal to 1. Write that one in standard form. Identify, oh, I didn't identify the other one. This is, oh, I said it's an ellipse. There we go. That's an ellipse. Write that equation in standard form and identify the related conic section. Well, I see that x is squared, but y is not squared. This must be a parabola. So right away, I know that this is going to be a parabola. We have x squared plus 4x plus something is equal to 4y minus 16 plus something. Well, 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 squared is 4. We need to add 4 to both sides. We get x plus 2 squared is equal to... 4y minus 12, and then we have x plus 2 squared is equal to 4 times y minus 3. Write that one in standard form. Identify the related conic. We have x squared plus 2x plus something, and then plus y squared minus 6y plus something is equal to 6 plus something plus something. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1. Uh, we've added 1 to both sides. And then 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. So we add 9 to both sides. We have x plus 1 squared plus 
y minus 3 squared is equal to 16, and that is a circle. Now, if there had been another number here or a different number here, this would be an ellipse. But since these are both ones, this is a circle. 